What's up, y'all? This is Chaos. This is 5 on 5 with I Am Musicology. After going through something that was like really traumatic, seriously at least, that's when I started like really going into my music and investing in my music and not just doing it as a freelance and really taking accountability and grabbing onto the reins and holding onto the muscles and not letting them go. I've been writing for a minute though and I've been singing since I was like five. So like, music as a whole isn't new, but like my own is still something that I'm getting familiar with and the process of it and all that, so yeah. My creative process is unknown nine times out of 10. I've gotten in the studio and had stuff prepared prior because I've been like sad or something and I just wrote something down and kept on running off of that or um, Sometimes it's just a matter of the beat. Sometimes the beat is like, okay, I'm feeling this and I'll, I'll, I'm not a freestyler, but I'll find something to this because I love this beat so much. So like my creative process is just, it's really, really wonky. I'm really trying to find something that's like stable and straightforward, but I don't feel like it should ever be like that. I feel like art as a whole is just wonky and out of the, out of the way and out of like a process. So I'm, I'm trying to like build a routine in some ways to shape or form to keep my mind going, but there's no specific like, it's really based on how I'm feeling or like where my pen is going or like who's in the studio. Maybe I'm like mobbing with my friends and my family and I'm like, you know what, let's make a song about y'all. Let's get it popping. Like it really just depends on like what is going on at the time. I went through a really bad breakup, a horrible breakup, a breakup that Someone like me who's like able to move on and like stay with the motion is just like, you know what it happens, you move on from it. That really hurt me. And I was either going to sink down in a hole or I was gonna get over it. So I was like, let's get over it. Let's find a way to creatively get over it though. Originally it wasn't supposed to be an EP. I was just gonna release singles. But I was like, I feel like I need a story. Somebody needs to feel this five songs top five because five is my favorite number so I, they need something to hold on to I felt like so my song thank God in particular the last song on my EP that is my conclusion every other song on my EP is like a little toxic it's a little expressive it's like okay you hurt me but progressively as you go through the EP you notice like okay she's growing she's learning she's not as sad anymore she's getting you know like they have like five stages of grief that's kind of what it was for me it was kind of like okay each one is different Okay, someone new is, okay, I, I'm, I'm recognizing that you're hurting me. I'm no longer being a delusional idiot, and I'm recognizing it. Okay, now, you're in, now you have me in control. Now I'm recognizing that as well, so I'm trying to move on from it. Okay, but you're going to make me set it off in this motherfucker. Now I'm done. Now I'm starting to get angry. And then you got past 11 where I'm completely dissing you, and you pissed me off, and I'm talking about shit because I never had a nigga that's going to die for me. And then you go to thank God, and it's like, okay, I'm a Christian now. I'm going to choose peace. I'm going to zen out. I'm going to stop talking about you because you're a done deal. So. That, that's that's one of those, you just hurt my feelings, I'm about to bump the fuck out of this EP type of EP, so yeah. My best ability, I really just use it as an opportunity for people to see things that they're not necessarily able to see in person. Because everybody's not gonna make it to your show, everybody's not gonna make it to your EP release, everybody's not gonna get Spotify to recommend your song. So you have to use that way of advertising yourself. Advertisements back in the day used to be standing on a corner and hand somebody a flyer. And now it's stand in your room and record some content and post it, post it, post it, post it consistently. And I feel like with consistency and just being able to like spread it, cause I share 20,000 things a day. Like I feel like that is really a good way of showing yourself and showcasing yourself from your own point of view, building your own persona without other people having to build it for you, if that makes sense. TikTok is like top tier. I use it on a daily basis. I know for a fact that people use it on a daily basis. So why not like use it to your advantage? It's a free app. You can post for free. They're not charging you to post. Go for it. Like take advantage of it. So. I put out a, a sad EP. I'm trying to, I'm trying to, be a little happier with my music, no promises. But I'm really trying to like encourage happiness and positivity and prosperity and all that good stuff that everybody wants to dream about and have at one point. It's kind of hard to make love songs for me because I ain't never been in love that's healthy. I'm really just trying to build my imagination and <laughs> continue to better my pen and uh, release more music for the summertime, for my summertime fine ladies who are just like, you know, fuck this man. We broke up in February. I used her EP to heal. 
now it's June. Let's turn it up, you know. So yeah, mainly mainly that. Um, I really, I really just my music is really just something that's so personal to me. So when it comes to putting stuff out, I'm in no rush at all. Unless it's like to the T, this is exactly what I want, exactly how it sounds, exactly how I imagined it when I dreamed about it. It's not coming out, so we're in no rush. We're just gonna keep pushing this EP, and then when that song finally hits the way I need it to hit, and I feel it in my toes, that's when we'll release it. But until then, I'm not putting nothing out for a minute. It's no joke out here, man. Uh, music is a, is a, it's a craft that people either pick up and just choose to do it for freelance, and then you have people who are passionate about it, and I'm refusing to just throw stuff out there into the universe, so. Everything is chaos, K-O-S, from F-R-M, Long Beach, L-B. K-O-S, F-R-M, L-B. Uh,